Hello, I'm Chris Edmonds of the Purposeful Culture Group. Here's today's culture leadership charge for your thoughtful consideration. I'm often asked about my three-phase culture refinement process. Today, I'll share how the first phase, the defined stage, creates the foundation for your purposeful, positive, productive work culture. My approach is founded on this hard fact. Senior leaders must drive and champion their organization's culture shift. They are ultimately responsible for clarity of the organization's servant purpose, for values and behaviors, and for strategies and goals. They can't delegate this responsibility to HR or any other function. Senior leaders must model and coach their desired culture every day. In the defined stage, I help senior leaders formalize their desired culture through an organizational constitution. I just mentioned the four elements of this important document. First, it describes the organization's present day servant purpose. This statement describes what the company does, for whom, and to what end. How what they do for customers improves customers' quality of life. When I interview team leaders and team members in an organization, I'll ask, what's the purpose of this company? 95% of the answers fall into two categories. First, to make cars or sell insurance or build buildings, whatever the company's tactical output is, or to make money. The reality is is that most employees are not deeply inspired by the tactical output of the company, nor do most employees receive a direct benefit when the company makes money. However, most employees are motivated by the opportunity to serve others and to serve alongside trusted teammates to serve others. Second, an organizational constitution specifies the organization's values and behaviors. Values are the principles you want demonstrated in every interaction, be it between bosses and team members, among team members, between team members and customers, and on and on. Values must be defined in observable, measurable terms because that makes them actionable. Lofty principles like integrity mean different things to different people. By defining a value like integrity, with two or three behaviors. For example, I do what I say I will do. You translate lofty ideals into daily behaviors that everyone can demonstrate. Most organizations have some sort of strategic plan with performance objectives and goals in place. Those are the third and fourth elements of an organizational constitution. Once senior leaders come to consensus on these important elements, they're ready for the next and hardest stage, the Align stage. Now, I'll share details on the Align stage in my next video episode. What have I missed? What questions do you have? Add your thoughts or post your questions below or head to my YouTube channel and do the same.